The number one overall pick in the WNBA draft is not just an opportunity to rebuild a team, but a chance to acquire a franchise-altering talent. Some teams strike gold, drafting players who are WNBA-ready from day one, while others find themselves investing time in player development. Here's a look at every number one overall pick since 2010, grading their impact and checking in on where they are today. With the first pick in the 2010 WNBA draft, the Connecticut Sun select Tina Charles from the University of Connecticut. Selected as the first overall pick in the 2010 WNBA draft by the Connecticut Sun, Tina Charles came into the league with immense expectations after a legendary college career at UConn. Charles did not just meet those expectations, she shattered them, earning Rookie of the Year honors and establishing herself as a dominant force in the paint. Over the years, Charles' ability to score and rebound at an elite level has made her a perennial All-Star and MVP candidate. Her 2012 MVP season stands as a testament to her extraordinary talent and work ethic. Charles's impact on the court extends far beyond her individual accolades. She has consistently been a cornerstone for her teams, bringing a blend of skill, leadership, and experience that has made her indispensable. With career averages that place her among the all-time greats, Charles has remained a dominant post presence well into her 30s, adapting her game to continue contributing at a high level. Her versatility, whether in scoring, rebounding, or anchoring the defense, has made her one of the most respected players in the league. Given her sustained excellence and the significant impact she has had on every team she's played for, Charles deserves an A for her career thus far. Her legacy is further cemented by her longevity and the respect she commands from peers and fans alike. As she continues to add to her illustrious career, Charles remains a model of consistency and excellence in the WNBA, proving that her selection as the top pick was not just justified, but pivotal in shaping the modern era of the league. The 2011 WNBA draft, the Minnesota Lynx select Maya Moore from the University of Connecticut. When the Minnesota Lynx selected Maya Moore as the first overall pick in the 2011 WNBA draft, they were acquiring a player with a resume that was already legendary before she even stepped foot on a WNBA court. Moore's immediate impact on the league was nothing short of spectacular. From the moment she joined the Lynx, she became the catalyst for what would become a WNBA dynasty, leading the team to their first championship in her rookie season. Over her career, Moore's combination of scoring, athleticism, and clutch performances made her the face of the Lynx and one of the most marketable stars in the league. She played an instrumental role in the Lynx's four championships, earning MVP honors in 2014 and solidifying her reputation as one of the most complete players in WNBA history. Moore's influence, however, extends far beyond her on-court accomplishments. Her decision to step away from basketball in 2019 to focus on criminal justice reform speaks volumes about her character and the legacy she wants to leave behind. Successfully advocating for the release of a wrongfully convicted man who later became her husband, Moore has demonstrated that her impact will be felt long after her playing days are over. For her extraordinary contributions both on and off the court, Moore earns an A-plus in my book. Her career is a perfect blend of championship success, individual accolades, and meaningful activism, making her one of the most respected and influential figures in the history of sports. With the first pick in the 2012 WNBA Draft, Los Angeles Sparks select Demkadi Ogumike from Stanford University. Neka Ogumikai, selected first overall by the Los Angeles Sparks in the 2012 WNBA Draft, came into the league with high expectations after a standout career at Stanford. Ogumikai wasted no time in establishing herself as one of the league's premier forwards, earning Rookie of the Year honors and quickly becoming a vital piece of the Sparks' success. Known for her relentless work ethic, versatility, and leadership, Ogumikai has been a consistent force on both ends of the floor throughout her career. Her ability to score efficiently, rebound effectively, and defend multiple positions has made her one of the most well-rounded players in the WNBA. Ogumikai's 2016 season stands out as a career highlight, as she was named league MVP and led the Sparks to a WNBA championship with one of the most clutch performances in finals history.
Off the court, Ogumikai has made a significant impact as well, serving as the president of the WNBA Players Association and playing a crucial role in negotiating the league's landmark 2020 collective bargaining agreement. Her leadership in advancing player rights and advocating for social justice has further solidified her status as one of the most influential players in the league. Given her consistent excellence on the court and her leadership off it, Ogumikai earns an A for her career. She has not only been a cornerstone player for the Sparks, but also a trailblazer for future generations of WNBA players. With the first pick in the 2013 WNBA draft, the Phoenix Mercury select Brittany Griner from Baylor University. When the Phoenix Mercury selected Brittany Griner with the first overall pick in the 2013 WNBA draft, they were adding a player who would redefine what it means to be a dominant center in the league. Standing at 6'9", Griner brought an unprecedented level of shot blocking and defensive prowess to the WNBA, immediately making her presence felt as one of the most intimidating defenders the league had ever seen. Griner's impact was not limited to the defensive end, however. Her ability to score in the paint and her developing perimeter game made her a versatile offensive threat as well. Over the years, Greener has consistently been among the league leaders in blocks, earning Defensive Player of the Year honors multiple times and solidifying her reputation as a game-changing force on both ends of the floor. Her role in leading the Mercury to the 2014 WNBA Championship further underscores her importance to the team's success. Off the court, Griner has used her platform to advocate for LGBTQ rights, becoming a powerful voice for acceptance and equality. Her courage to speak out on important issues, combined with her dominance on the court, makes her one of the most influential players in the history of the WNBA. Given her impact on the game and her contributions off the court, Griner earns an A+, in my opinion. Her career has been nothing short of extraordinary and her influence will be felt in the league for years to come as she continues to set the standard for what it means to be a dominant center in the WNBA. The first pick in the 2014 WNBA draft, the Connecticut Sun, select Chene Agumike from Stanford University. Following in the footsteps of her sister Neka, Chene Ogumike was selected first overall by the Connecticut Sun in the 2014 WNBA draft. From the outset, Chiny showed that she was more than just a sibling legacy. She was a star in her own right. Known for her relentless energy, rebounding prowess, and ability to finish around the rim, Ogumike quickly established herself as a key player for the Sun, earning Rookie of the Year honors. Her early years in the league were marked by her impressive ability to control the paint and contribute on both ends of the floor. However, Ogumike's career has also been defined by her resilience in the face of adversity, as she battled through multiple injuries that sidelined her for entire seasons. Despite these setbacks, Ogumike has remained a significant presence in the WNBA, not only as a player but also as a media personality. Balancing her career as a full-time ESPN analyst while still playing professionally, Ogumike has become one of the most recognizable figures in the league, using her platform to advocate for the game and inspire the next generation of players. Given her impact on the court, her resilience in overcoming injuries, and her contributions to the sport as a broadcaster, Ogumike earns a B plus in my opinion. While injuries have somewhat limited her career trajectory, her influence on and off the court remains undeniable, making her a valuable ambassador for the game of basketball. With the first pick in the 2015 WNBA Draft, the Seattle Storm, select Jewel Lloyd from the University of Notre Dame. When the Seattle Storm selected Jewel Lloyd with the first overall pick in the 2015 WNBA Draft, they were bringing in a player with the potential to become one of the most dynamic guards in the league. Lloyd's transition to the WNBA was seamless, as she quickly showcased her scoring ability, athleticism, and clutch performances. Known for her ability to create her own shot and score from virtually anywhere on the court, Lloyd has become a central figure in the Storm's success. Her partnership with Brianna Stewart and Sue Bird has led to multiple WNBA championships, with Lloyd playing a pivotal role in each title run. Over the years, Lloyd has earned the nickname Gold Mamba, a tribute to her idol Kobe Bryant for her fearless approach and her knack for delivering in crucial moments. 
her continued development as a leader and scorer has solidified her status as one of the top guards in the league with multiple all-star selections to her name. Off the court, Lloyd has also used her platform to advocate for social justice, further enhancing her impact on the game and beyond. Given her contributions to the Storm's championship success and her growth as a player, Lloyd earns an A in my opinion. The first pick in the 2016 WNBA draft, the Seattle Storm select Brianna Stewart from the University of Connecticut. Brianna Stewart entered the WNBA with one of the most decorated college careers in history, and her transition to the professional game was nothing short of spectacular. Selected first overall by the Seattle Storm in the 2016 WNBA draft, Stewart wasted no time in establishing herself as one of the league's premier players. Her Rookie of the Year campaign was just the beginning of what has become a legendary career. Known for her versatility, Stewart can score from anywhere on the court, defend multiple positions, and dominate the boards, making her one of the most complete players in the history of the game. Stewart's skill set is so expansive that she seamlessly blends guard-like agility with the strength and rebounding of a traditional big. Her impact on the Storm has been profound, leading the team to multiple WNBA championships and earning finals MVP honors twice, further highlighting her ability to perform under pressure. Stewart's ability to rise to the occasion in the biggest moments has solidified her reputation as a clutch performer and a leader on and off the court. Her leadership extends beyond her play, as she has been a vocal advocate for social justice and equality, using her platform to drive change in areas that matter most to her and her peers. Despite facing challenges, including a torn Achilles in 2019, Stewart's comeback was nothing short of remarkable, as she returned to MVP form almost immediately, proving her resilience and determination. For her extraordinary achievements, both statistically and in terms of championships, Stewart earns an a in my opinion. She is not just one of the best players in the WNBA today, but she is also carving out a legacy as one of the greatest to ever play the game. With the first pick in the 2017 WNBA draft, the San Antonio Stars select Kelsey Plum from the University of Washington. Kelsey Plum came into the WNBA with high expectations as the first overall pick in the 2017 WNBA draft, following a record-breaking collegiate career where she became the NCAA's all-time leading scorer. Drafted by the San Antonio Stars, now Las Vegas Aces, Plum's transition to the professional level was met with challenges as she adjusted to the speed and physicality of the WNBA. Her early years in the league were marked by inconsistency, but Plum's talent was undeniable. Over time, she found her footing, particularly as a key contributor off the bench, where her scoring ability and basketball IQ began to shine through. Plum's breakthrough came in the 2021 season when she won the WNBA Sixth Woman of the Year Award, proving that she could be a game-changer even in a non-starting role. Her ability to score in bunches, combined with her improved playmaking skills, made her an integral part of the Aces' rotation. Plum's journey in the WNBA has been one of perseverance and growth, showing that even top picks may require time to fully blossom. Given her resilience and recent success, Plum earns a B plus in my opinion. While her career trajectory has had its ups and downs, Plum's ability to adapt and thrive in a new role has made her a valuable asset to one of the league's top teams, and her future in the WNBA looks brighter than ever. With the first pick in the 2018 WNBA draft, the Las Vegas Aces select Asia Wilson from the University of South Carolina. Aja Wilson's arrival in the WNBA as the first overall pick in the 2018 draft marked the beginning of a new era for the Las Vegas Aces. Wilson immediately showcased why she was the most coveted player in her draft class, making an instant impact on both ends of the floor. Her rookie season saw her earn Rookie of the Year honors, but it was clear that Wilson was destined for even greater things. Over the next few seasons, she not only established herself as one of the most dominant forwards in the league, but also as the face of the Aces franchise. Wilson's game is characterized by her ability to score efficiently in the post, her tenacious rebounding, and her exceptional shot-blocking ability.
making her a force to be reckoned with on both ends of the court. In 2020, Wilson reached new heights, winning the WNBA MVP award and leading the Aces to the finals. Her leadership and ability to perform in high-pressure situations have been pivotal in the Aces' rise to prominence. Off the court, Wilson has also been a strong advocate for social justice, using her platform to speak out on issues of racial equality and mental health awareness. Given her rapid ascent to the top of the league and her continued excellence, Wilson earns an A-plus in my opinion. She has quickly become one of the league's brightest stars, and her impact on the game will be felt for years to come as she continues to build on her already impressive legacy. With the first pick in the 2019 WNBA Draft, the Las Vegas Aces select Jackie Young from the University of Notre Dame. Jackie Young, selected as the first overall pick in the 2019 WNBA Draft by the Las Vegas Aces, has shown steady improvement throughout her career. Known for her versatility and defensive skills, Young was seen as a player who could contribute immediately. Her rookie season saw her average 6.6 .6 points, 3.3 rebounds, and 4.5 assists per game, which were solid but not exceptional numbers. Over the years, Young has evolved into a reliable asset for the Aces, particularly noted for her defensive capabilities and versatility on the floor. Her scoring ability has developed significantly, and she has become one of the league's better perimeter defenders. Young's contributions have become increasingly valuable, especially as the Aces have built a competitive team around her. She has also shown the potential to further elevate her game and become a more prominent player. While she hasn't yet reached the star level of some of her draft peers, her ongoing development and performance indicate that she could continue to grow into a key player for her team. The progress Young has made suggests that her role in the WNBA will likely expand, and she could become an even more influential player in the future. With the first pick in the 2020 WNBA Draft, the New York Liberty select Sabrina Ionescu from the University of Oregon. Sabrina Ionescu entered the WNBA with more hype and anticipation than perhaps any player in recent memory. Selected first overall by the New York Liberty in the 2020 WNBA Draft, Ionescu was seen as a transformative talent who could turn the fortunes of a struggling franchise. Known for her triple-double prowess in college, Ionescu's all-around game promised to bring a new level of excitement to the Liberty. However, her rookie season was derailed by an early ankle injury that sidelined her for most of the year, delaying her much-anticipated breakout. Despite this setback, Ionescu's potential was never in question and she returned in 2021 with a renewed focus, quickly making her mark as one of the league's most versatile guards. Ionescu's ability to score, rebound, and facilitate makes her a triple-double threat every time she steps on the court, and her leadership skills have already earned her the respect of her peers. As she continues to develop and gain experience, Ionescu is expected to become the cornerstone of the Liberty's future. Given her potential and the flashes of brilliance she has already shown, Ionescu earns a B-plus in my opinion. While injuries have slowed her progress, her talent and determination suggest that she will soon fulfill the lofty expectations placed upon her, potentially becoming one of the faces of the league. With the first pick in the 2021 WNBA Draft, the Dallas Wings select Charlie Collier from the University of Texas. Charlie Collier was selected as the first overall pick in the 2021 WNBA Draft by the Dallas Wings, making her the first Longhorn to be drafted number one overall. Coming into the league, Collier was known for her size, rebounding, and potential as a dominant post player. However, her transition to the professional game has been challenging, as she has struggled to find her footing in a league filled with seasoned veterans and elite talent. Collier's rookie season was marked by limited playing time and inconsistent production, leading to questions about her long-term fit in the league. Despite these struggles, Collier's potential remains, and she has shown flashes of the player she can become with further development. Her size and physicality are assets that cannot be taught, and with the right coaching and experience, she could still carve out a successful career in the WNBA.
However, as of now, her impact has been minimal, and she has yet to live up to the expectations of a number one overall pick. Given her current trajectory, Collier earns a C plus in my opinion. While it is too early to write off her potential, she will need to make significant strides in the coming seasons to justify her draft position and become a key player for the Wings. With the first pick in the 2022 WNBA Draft, the Atlanta Dream select Ryan Howard from the University of Kentucky. Ryan Howard was selected as the first overall pick in the 2022 WNBA Draft by the Atlanta Dream, and she quickly made an impact in her rookie season. Known for her scoring ability, defensive prowess, and versatility, Howard has the potential to become one of the league's brightest young stars. In her first season, she showcased her ability to score from all three levels, defend multiple positions, and play with a maturity beyond her years. Howard's impact on the dream was immediate as she helped the team become more competitive and brought a new level of excitement to the franchise. As she continues to develop, Howard's potential seems limitless, and she has already drawn comparisons to some of the league's all-time greats. Given her impressive rookie campaign and the promise she has shown, Howard earns an A, in my opinion. While it is still early in her career, she has all the tools to become a franchise player for the dream and one of the top players in the WNBA for years to come. With the first pick in the 2023 WNBA draft, the Indiana Fever select Aaliyah Boston, University of South Carolina. Aaliyah Boston was selected as the first overall pick in the 2023 WNBA draft by the Indiana Fever and she entered the league with high expectations following a stellar college career at South Carolina. Known for her dominance in the paint, rebounding ability, and defensive skills, Boston has the potential to become a game-changing presence in the WNBA. In her rookie season, Boston has already shown glimpses of the player she can become, displaying her ability to control the paint, score efficiently, and anchor a defense. While it is still early in her career, Boston's impact on the Fever has been positive, and she is seen as a key piece in the team's rebuilding process. As she gains more experience and continues to develop her game, Boston has the potential to become one of the league's premier bigs. Given her early contributions and the promise she has shown, Boston earns a B plus in my opinion. While it will take time for her to reach her full potential, the future looks bright for this young star as she begins her journey in the WNBA. With the first pick in the 2024 WNBA Draft, the Indiana Fever select Caitlin Clark, University of Iowa. Caitlin Clark, who earns an a in my opinion, was selected as the first overall pick in the 2024 WNBA Draft by the Indiana Fever, signaling the arrival of one of the most anticipated players in basketball history. Known for her deep shooting range, exceptional playmaking, and fierce competitive spirit, Clark's college career at Iowa was nothing short of legendary. She shattered numerous records, including becoming the fastest player in NCAA Division I history to reach 2,000 career points. Her ability to hit long-range shots from well beyond the three-point line made her a constant threat, while her court vision allowed her to orchestrate the offense with precision, leading the nation in assists. Clark's fearless style of play, combined with her knack for delivering in clutch moments, has drawn comparisons to some of the game's all-time greats. Clark's transition to the WNBA has been nothing short of impressive. In her rookie season, she immediately made an impact, demonstrating the same level of confidence and skill that defined her college career. Her ability to score in bunches, often from deep beyond the arc, has quickly made her a fan favorite. Clark's playmaking skills have also translated seamlessly to the professional level, as she continues to find her teammates in scoring positions while maintaining her own scoring prowess. Her competitive drive and leadership qualities have been evident as she's taken on the challenge of leading a young Indiana Fever team. Off the court, Clark's popularity has skyrocketed, with endorsements and media appearances showcasing her as one of the new faces of the WNBA. Her influence extends beyond just her performance 
she's become a symbol of the next generation of women's basketball, inspiring young athletes with her work ethic and dedication to the game. Clark's potential to transform the fever into a championship contender is undeniable, and her trajectory suggests a career filled with accolades and historic achievements. Given her instant impact, both on and off the court, it's clear that Caitlin Clark is poised to be a dominant force in the league for years to come.